Hello and welcome to Foam Test. Today I will be showing you the build video for the Simple Glider. If you haven't seen the review video, it will be linked down below. All of the materials you will need will be a hot glue gun, tape, scotch or packaging tape will work out well, a razor blade, and something that's a right angle. Oh, and of course, foam board. Then you're going to want to trace out your templates on the piece of foam board. And when you're done, it should look like this. Now you're going to want to cut out all the pieces on the lines that you just drew. The first step in this build that we're going to do is the wing. These are the three pieces that you'll need. These two, completely symmetrical. And then this piece in the middle, the largest rectangular piece, also the same as the other two pieces. Okay, so the first step you're going to want to do is you're going to take the paper on the one side of the foam and peel it off. This is so that we can curve the foam board here without making wrinkles on the other side. So you're going to want to do that to all three pieces. Okay, so now that you've done that to all three pieces, you're going to want to take each piece here, as you can tell, very, very flexible now. You're going to want to go down here to the edge of a table, just put your hands on it, and then push it down on the edge of the table. Don't be afraid to use a little bit of force when you do this. And what this is going to do, it's going to create a nice bend, making an under cambered airfoil. And if it's off by a little bit, like a little bit twisted or something, you could twist it, bend it, get it looking nice and straight. You're going to repeat that to all three pieces, giving about the same amount of curve for each. Okay, so now that you've done that, you're going to want to take a razor blade, nice and sharp. This one's actually pretty good for doing this, but I'm going to grab a different one for cutting this, this edge, because you want a really nice new razor blade if you can. Okay, so now that they have a nice new razor blade, you're going to want to take these here. And what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to slowly slice through the inside here. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a gap for your under camber of your wing. It's also really good if you have those, um, those sliding knives, cheap little plastic things where you just snap off the snapping knives. I don't know what they're called, where you just snap off the blade when it gets dull. But basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create... like little little gap like that just shave a little bit off there where yep shave a little bit off you're gonna want to do that only to these guys here and make sure they have the paper side facing up if you have the paper side facing down it's gonna be backwards and just cut out a new piece and do it again basically you're gonna want you're going to want it facing this way, so that when it folds up, it doesn't bind. I'm going to try to show you guys here closer to the camera. Right now, as I gap, though, when it folds up, no binding. It's good. Now you're going to want to repeat this to the other side. Okay, now you're going to want to take some scrap foam here, like this piece that I cut out from by the tail. You're going to want to measure one inch on it one inch, or actually one and a quarter inches, sorry. You're going to make a little dash right there. This is going to be your dihedral gauge. What you're going to do from here, you're going to take this, keep in mind that this right angle nice and true, and you're going to want to cut right on that line. I'll give you a gauge. Looks like this. Once you've done that, you can do a test with your wings here. Put them under like this, put the dihedral gauge, and what you do is you put it right underneath the wingtip right there, and it gives you the amount of dihedral that you need for this plane. Okay, now your next step is with your dihedral gauge handy and these two pieces. You're going to want to take some hot glue, you're going to want to put it on the inside here. You can put a good healthy bead on there. Then you're going to want to push two pieces together, dihedral gauge under, and hold. Basically, just keep holding, wait till that, wait for that glue to dry, and while you're waiting for it, take what's on the top, smear it down in there. Makes a nice strong joint for, nice strong glue joint there. And also, if you'd like, 
so it doesn't stick to the table, move it. Just so that glue doesn't get down there or stick, and it just gets really awkward when your wing's stuck to the table and you have to cut it off. <laughs> okay, now that you've held this for about 30 seconds now, you're going to want to pull out your dihedral gauge and see that the wing does not fall at all. That means that it's completely dry. Now to finish this on the bottom here, I'm just going to use some scotch tape, because that's, that's what I've always used on these models. I'm just going to take a bit here, measure it out a little bit over the width is fine. If you have excess, you can just wrap it around on the other side or cut it off, whatever you choose. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to put it down here so it touches the edges. And then push on one side of the wing here, like this. Yeah, I'm showing you. Push on this, like let's say this part I'm pushing on the polyhedral side of the wing. And then I'm going to push on here. Push on the, both of the flat parts to make it nice and smooth tape. Now with these excess pieces here, you can just wrap them around to the other side. Okay, that part of the wing is done. Did you notice? Nice little bit of dihedral. And actually it will be polyhedral when we add the other one. Okay, now it's time to add the other one. Same same process as the other side. Put a healthy bead of glue. Push it together. Got a huge little gauge. Then wipe off the excess. More glue does not mean more strength. Quote from Josh Fixer, flight test. Give, give the video a like if you know him. <laughs> and here's the awkward part where it's stuck to the table. Which means I'm going to now have to re-glue this. And that's what happens when you take it apart too soon. A whole bunch of little strings of hot glue. Awkward moment when you glue your tape table to your wing. Wing to the table. Or table to your wing, whatever way you want to say it. That's what not to do when making a wing. Avoid the excess. Glue, extra glue is just extra weight. And weight is your enemy, especially with models this small. I've never actually measured the weight stand here, but I believe it's 19 inches flat, so it should be. Or no. 18 inches flax, it's 16. 16, yes. 8 plus 8 is 16. Foam math, guys. Foam test math. And yes, in case you're wondering, hot glue is indeed hot. Okay, guys, now that your wing is fully dried, see here, polyhedral. Means that when this wing's down, this wing is tilted slightly upward, so it's getting less lift. This wing is more horizontal, so it's getting more lift, so it self-writes itself. Cool little thing somebody else made and I learned on the internet. Okay, now that your wing is finished, you don't really need your th your th or not throw gauge. It's not a flying or RC model. It's just a glider, so now you're done with your dihedral gauge. Put that aside. Take your pieces of paper. Throw them in the trash. Because you don't really need those. The reason I'm keeping this is the same reason why I kept this earlier. A scrap piece of foam board to scrape off glue. Okay, now we're going to be putting in the elevator on here. Also, too, just to reduce weight, this actually does reduce a lot of weight from the foam if you really weigh it out and think about it. I think it's about half on the elevator. The elevator, I think, weighs four grams total, and then two grams without the paper. So I take the paper off both sides here. So then it's all just foam. This part doesn't need to be very rigid because it's just the elevator. Okay, now what you're going to want to do for the elevator here is measure about two and a half inches, or two inches actually. Find like somewhere in the middle here, wherever you want it. And then make it slot the hole in an orientation here is slightly downward. Just, just at a very slight angle. This will give the elevator a little bit of up, upward pressure so that it will push the plane up when it glides. Because... That's just what gliders need. That's just how they work. Two inches. Now what I do here is I take something with your foam board is usually a good thing here. And you measure this. And then use the foam board itself here as what you measure. And then along there. This should be what you should this is what should be done at the end. That's what it should look like, and you should be able to pretty much fit your stabilizer right around there. Okay, now it's time to take the razor blade again. It doesn't need to be super sharp, so I'm just going to use this older one right here. 
Um, I'd probably still use a ruler for this step. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to cut along the lines you just made. Maybe there's one. And two. And on this third line, you really don't need the ruler, but it can be very difficult to cut this little piece here. So, cut through the paper on one side, flip it over, you'll see the lines, and then cut through the paper on the other side. It usually pops right out, just like that. Okay, now that you have that popped out, you're going to want to measure two and a half inches, because the elevator here is five inches. So, you should go on here, put it dot near the top. I got my pencil wasn't under the ruler. What you want to do is you're going to want to dot at the top. And dot closer to the bottom. Two and a half inches. Just making sure. Then you're going to connect the dots. Okay guys, I'm sorry for the skipping ahead in the video. It's just my uh, you know, when you're starting a YouTube channel, don't really have expensive equipment. Yeah, I'm using my iPhone to record right now. So, yeah, I'm sorry for skipping ahead. Pretty much all we did is we drew the line, used the line for reference on the tail here, glued it in, and also when you're gluing in the tail, if you made the gap a little bit too big, which you probably should have or could have, I, at least I did, you're going to want to squish down here, just hold the tail like this until it's dry and wipe off the excess glue, because especially back here, glue is going to weigh a lot more than if it was up here, just because of the leverage it has on the CG. Other than that, um, that's pretty much almost self-explanatory. Just, just put glue on the top part, glue on the bottom, slide this in, make sure that that's lined up on the back right there, and yeah, that's pretty simple. And then you know when we split this in half and did drew the line. Did the same thing only from here to here. This is eight inches that so basically just split it in half. So this would be four inches. Dot here, dot here, drew the line, continued it here, continued it here. Again, sorry for the little fast forward mix up. You probably pause the video and do everything. I know I don't have the video to show you guys because um, yeah. iPhones. Hashtag I hate iPhone in the comment. <laughs> Why did you stop recording? But either way, let's continue on. Okay, so for this part of the build here, you're going to be attaching the wings to the fuselage. I know, you're almost done. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. But still a little bit farther away because you had to pause the video a few seconds ago for probably a couple minutes trying to figure out what I said and how to apply it to your model. Because you know, that's always good. But now here what we're doing is we drew the line, that's going to be our reference mark. And when you line this up here, you're going to want to see this little notch right here right before it goes on an incline, you want to see the shallow one. Right at that corner there is where you're going to want to line the wing up. And that's how you're going to put the wing down on there. Center it up. And you will notice that there's a little gap at the front there. Um, that's just uh, just how it was designed. I, You could do what you want with it. But that's just how it ended up being. That's just how it's going to look. So basically, glue that on, centered, centered. Then you put glue. I usually put glue on the wing right along the line. Then, well, let's do it. Okay, so now you got your hot glue gun here. I'm going to put it right along this line. Good, healthy bead. Then you're going to want to push it down here. Remember lining up the back part here putting up the line there, and then pushing it down. You are going to want to hold that on there for about a minute. And this is also where the right angle comes in. You can put the right angle right up against the body and the wing to make sure it's square. And now, while you guys are waiting for this to dry, here's a random plane crash I have. Okay, so once your wing is dry here, 
you should be able to lift up and no part of it curves up at all. And notice here, um, try to make it as flat as possible, but mine's off a little bit if you can see, but it should still fly okay. should actually just fly a little bit to the right, I think. Yeah, it's level or to the left. We'll have to see when we toss it, but that'll be later. And now, congratulations, you have completed the fuselage. Now, it's time to add nose weight, which I left upstairs. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back with the nose weight, which is five pennies recommended. Three, four, five. And I brought a sixth one just in case. I don't know, this one's a weird plane that it just needs another one. But either way here, usually what I do to test is I put stack the five pennies. Come on, put them flat on the nose, try to balance them. Put your fingers. Oh well, I just know it needs five pennies, and that's how it is. But for right now, I think I'm going to put four on, just in case, and then add the fifth one later. Which I recommend doing just in case it doesn't need the fifth penny. You know, an extra two grams less weight is always good. So basically, when you're attaching the pennies, you're going to want to put a little tiny, or not a little tiny, but good size drop of hot glue, and then push the pennies together. A little twisting motion too if you want. If there's any excess glue, work that away. If you're not gonna need it. And then make like a little penny sandwich almost. And then you do the same to the other two. Okay, now that you have your two sandwich pennies here, you're going to want to take your plane. And I recommend putting the pennies about right there, about maybe eighth of an inch between the pennies and the nose. Okay guys, and that's it. Once you've glued the pennies on this side and on this side, your plane is ready for its test glide. Okay, here guys, this probably isn't going to be the most exciting test flight since it is just the glider. And yes, if you're wondering, this is the tail of an FT guinea pig. Amazing plane, my favorite by far. Go check it out if you have the money for it. But either way, this video is about the glider, not the guinea pig. That will be soon. Don't worry. But yeah, just give it a little toss. And it glides beautifully. I don't know if you guys... Saw that or not, but it just went all the way back here into the weight. And now, we're right at the camera and hit the mini guinea pig. Okay guys, that'll be it for today, and um, feel free to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, this foam test, see you guys next time. Don't worry, but yeah, just give it a little toss. And it glides beautifully. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but it just... And all the way back here into the weight. And now, go right at the camera and hit the mini guinea pig. Okay guys, let's get one more glide in here. You know, you want to see it. Perfect, right into the wall and onto the weights. So yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. The simple glider. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put the plans. Probably on the flight test forums because, well, I don't have my own website or forums yet, but I'll, I'll get there someday. YouTube channel is just the way to grow it, but Thanks guys for watching, and hope I see you guys next time, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I mean, what are you doing, man? I mean, it's my first YouTube video. Just do it. And like the video if you liked it. Either way, it's a cool plane. Really, you can make it. You can make six of them for a buck and a few pennies for nose weight. Awesome things to do in the afternoon with your cousins at family gathering or whatever you really want to do it for. Just a great little thing you can do. Cousins will love you, and have a good time. Okay, that's it for today, and uh, this is Foam Tests. Uh, start a new channel on YouTube. Subscribe if you haven't already.